everyone. This is Ken Marlin, the Windows Champ, uh, Microsoft Business Development Manager here at Aero Electronics, and I'm going to take you guys through the Windows 7 end of, end of support and basically a new program called the ESU or Extended Support Update Program from Microsoft. So for all of you that um, currently are you still running Windows 7 and wondering what you can do or what your options are, this is the video for you. We'll go through that. So the main thing to know here, this video is focused around Windows 7. Some of these dates also apply to Server 2008, 2008 R2. Um, this ESU program will apply that as well, but this video is definitely focused on those folks that are running Windows 7 devices. Um, and it is certainly time to move to modern or for those who can't move, move yet to Windows 10, what are your options? One of those is to extend your support. We'll cover the ESU program. So Windows 7 launched in October 22nd, 2009. That was 10 years ago. That was the same year that pilot Captain Sullenberger landed his plane in the Hudson River. And it also is the same year that Slumdog Millionaire won a Golden Globe. So that takes us way back 10 years. And as all Microsoft products have 10 years of support, Windows 7 support is ending. So let's take a look at the roadmap specifically for end of support. And you'll find that Windows 7, um, in this video, I'm going to be focusing in on specifically this very important date, January 14th, 2020, um, specifically for Windows 7 Professional and Ultimate, both in the regular channel and in the OEM IoT Embedded channel, these products, the end of support ends on that date, which is very soon. Um, this video when I talk about the ESU or the extended support is specifically for the embedded versions, what we call Windows 7 Pro 4 embedded systems. Uh, the deck name is Fez 7, both Pro and Ultimate. Those products are still available um, for a number more years, but the support is ending on 2020 and you want to know what you do. Also to clarify, there are two other embedded products, Windows Embedded Standard 7 and Pause Ready 7. Those products the end of support is quite a bit, a little bit later in 2020, almost a full year from the, the recording of this video on West 7 and then even further for PAW 7. So don't confuse those. This is specifically for Pro and Ultimate versions and again, more specifically to the embedded IoT version. So as people call me and email me and ask me questions about this subject, the main thing that people get confused between is the end of life and end of support. Um, but, and most people are really worried about what happens to my devices on January 15th, 2020, the day after support ends. The main thing to know is that the end of life is a completely separate thing from end of support. End of life is when a product is no longer available. And in the IoT embedded space, IoT products are prohibited from shipping new devices past the end of life date. Now, the good thing for Windows 7 for Embedded Systems Pro and Ultimate, those are available till September 30th, 2024. Uh, so you still have a number of years that you can keep on buying and shipping this product, but it won't have support. Support ends on January 14th, 2020. So what do you do? Um, and that takes us to another good question. Licenses are perpetual. They're good forever. So it's, your license is not going to stop when it you know, when it goes into life or into support, the license keeps right on going. You'll always be able to reload, reinstall, reactivate. Um, so these dates have nothing to do with the actual license itself. The license is good, but end of life, not available any longer. End of support, that's when you get no more tech support, no more security patches, no more hot fixes, um, which leaves your device very vulnerable to security attacks. And so it's very important to think, well, what am I going to do now? The end of support is upon me. So if we start from the left and go to the right, you can see year zero to year 10, you get 10 years of support with, with Microsoft products. And that is standard for all Microsoft products. Um, but then what happens then? The support ends and you get into this red section called the ESU or Extended Security Update Program. Um, and that's a new program that I'm gonna be covering. For many of you OEMs that have devices that are out there on Windows 7 and you wanna keep that support going, you can now purchase this program from Arrow. And that's a, and it's a program that's only going to be a three-year program. After that, it, everything is done. No updates, no issue, nothing of any kind. So if you want to get started with this extended support update program, it requires five items. 
the first item is you've got to have a customer license agreement. Now, most of our OEM customers, they already, they're already shipping OEM appliances. They already have the CLA. So in most cases, this is already in place. But if not, you've got to get a CLA. Um, and there is no cost on that. The next item is you've got to work with Microsoft to get a Microsoft Business and Services Agreement, an MBSA. And it's an overarching agreement that covers all the, the business and services between you and Microsoft. Again, no cost. And we'll work with Microsoft to get that started uh, for you. The third item is where a little bit of the money and the pricing comes in. So you've got to purchase 100 hours of support, and it's officially called an EPSO, or an Ecosystem Partner Services Offering. And that's basically the tech support where you call Microsoft and get tech support. You have to specifically purchase 100 hours of support. Contact us directly, and I'll give you that pricing. I'm just not putting the pricing here in this video but we can certainly give you a quote on that um, and if you already have a support agreement where you already have support hours this is in addition so you would have to purchase in addition to whatever support hours you may already have 100 hours of support followed by that is another no cost item because it's tied to the one above it and that's a service terms agreement that's tied to those 100 hours and then lastly you would purchase the extended support update basically license per device so it's a price per device get with us i'll tell you the pricing on that the great thing is that there's no minimum quantity so in the past with xp there was a minimum 10,000 device requirement with this program there is no minimum so you can jump right in and extend that support for your windows 7 devices so now let's take a look Again, I just mentioned um, it, it, no minimum quantity requirements. It's going to be available starting November 1st, 2019, through Aero Electronics. Um, you'll, you'll pay per device for the Windows 7, for each Windows 7 device you want to extend that security on. And again, requires 100 hours of support. There's the part number. Just wanted to include this kind of uh, slide here, give you the part number, tell you where you can reach out to us. You can contact me directly. Um, or msembedded at arrow.com to get started. Now, for those who want to know how it actually works, stay tuned. I'm going to keep going through this video a little longer to give you a little more details on exactly how it actually works. Let's jump into that right now. So, the requirements. It requires three things on your device, um, and they're labeled here A, B, and C. So, the first thing is your device is going to need to have in the A box what they call an ESU licensing update. So it's an update that expands the range of keys that the existing device will accept. Today, your device only accepts a, an OS key. So this update will come down to the device and it will give it some new code to basically allow it to accept additional keys. It doesn't replace the OS key that's there, but it will um, expand it so that now your device can accept additional keys, which will then unlock the ESU requirement. So the next thing is you will have to, uh, you'll be given an ESU key. It'll be a single key tied to your company and that key will then need to be put down on the device as well. And that key basically unlocks the ESU service. And then this, the last item in the C box is your ESU servicing stack update, which tells the device that it can now accept the extended security updates. So all three of these things have to be pushed down to the device um, and you can bundle them all up into a single download uh, and push it to the device. It can be downloaded offline and manually installed. It can be installed through Windows Update. So a lot of devices, whether they're part of the ESU program or not, will be getting um, more than likely the first box. The other boxes will have to be specifically pushed down. Um, and this last slide, to, to wrap up the video is kind of another visual of what we just talked about. So the dark blue box in the middle is your device. The three thing, three blue boxes on the left are the three things we just talked about that have to be pushed to the device and located on the device. Um, and then your original OS product key will remain on the device as well. And then once they're all there, that unlocks and allows the extended security updates to come down to the machine, update one, two, three, and so on as they are released. Um, the one key thing to point out is that you, if you buy year two, you'll get a year two key that will have to go into the box to unlock the year two updates. If you uh, purchase 
the year three, you'll get a year three key that will be pushed down. So if you buy three years of extended security updates, you will have three keys that will be added to the device. And that's what keeps people um, from continuing to get year two and year three if they didn't purchase them. So you, you would come back and purchase year two, get a year two key in your device, and off you go. So overall, pretty simple um, that you push these things to the device, it'll keep right on giving security updates. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. You can contact our team directly at msembedded at arrow.com or directly to me, ken.marlin at arrow.com. And I will have a blog that will cover what we just covered in this video um, on our Arrow Microsoft site, and I'll put the link in the descriptions. Again, thank you guys for watching.